Hello, everyone. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller back with another service management leadership video. Please like, share, subscribe this video and it's the channel. Look around at our thousand plus videos and follow us on LinkedIn company page. You can follow me as well, but the company page. All right. We're continuing our, ser our series on enterprise service management and just looking at it in contrast to IT service management. And the best example I can give to explain enterprise service management is a data center. Sure, a data center is filled with IT assets. I'm not talking, or CIs, I'm not talking about that. But think about all the mechanical, the electrical, the plumbing that goes in, plus the internet connection, the fire suppression that goes in to this, and there's many others. Don't you think that those should be under some type of change control? If there's an outage, shouldn't you treat it like an incident? I, I think so. In addition, wouldn't you like to see how those CIs interact with the IT CIs that are in the data center? For example, let's say your organization has three data centers. Wouldn't you want the servers that are in that data center to have a relationship to the mechanical electrical plumbing for that data center. So that way, if you're evaluating a change to let's say the mechanical piece, you would know, hey, if this goes south, it impacts these business services. You see how all that stitched together? Much value for the organization if it can be employed in that manner. This is Jeffrey T. Pertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. And I ask that you reach out to me if there's anything that I, I or service management leadership can do for you and your organization. We'd love to serve you. Have a great, great day.